Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 3. I'm the Mysterious JG. And this game seems to hate you for wanting to use a um, sniper rifle. Didn't... well, no, I did gain enough points last time to finish off fitness. And uh, even though you can get some fun stuff for melee, I think our best bet is to get that f last boost to health and shields. So now we're going to survive as well as we can. And all we have left are individual skills that we don't necessarily use, like cryo ammo. So I'm pretty much just using disruptor ammo all the time. Warp ammo I got as a bonus power that I just haven't done anything with. So it's really down to sticky grenade or sabotage. And I haven't been using grenades, but I probably should be. And one of the reasons I haven't been using them is they haven't been that useful. So sticky grenades is going to be a thing. But we got all sorts of dialogue we should probably go through now, because we've done another actual plot mission. So while we're down here, we might as well start off with um, the Captain and Tennille. Reviewing our maintenance schedules one more time. Mm -hmm. Everything is in order. Everything is in order. So yeah, that's what we're getting out of him. Parts of the chunk are reminding me of the desert back home. The lizards and worms are bigger, but, you know, the sand and everything. Of course, gets everywhere. I hate the sand. Primark's son is in over his head, no? Yeah, I think so. Hey. Hey. You. Get it to my car. Me? Yeah, you. So what else is available? Um, assault rifle and shotgun. Sniper rifle. What could we be buying here? Sniper rifle concentration mod. Um... Piercing mod. What we need to find, maybe they don't have them for sniper rifles, is uh, something that does the uh, the ultralight materials upgrade. Could increase our metagel uh, capacity at some point. I think we got all the sniper rifle mods that are available at this store. High velocity barrel. Increases damage for 15. Ignores 25%. Okay, wait a second. I remember this one, and for some reason I don't use it. Increases uh, damage for 15. Allows it to... Pierce some armor. Ignores 25% of ours. So why aren't I using this? I, I guess because I haven't found it yet. 50% reduced damage. Ignore, I think maybe... Would it say if it added to the weight? I guess it would say if it added to the weight. Was that Elkos or Elcor? Elkos Combine. Kind of hoping it was like the official armory of the Elcor. Conniving. Buy my goods. They are not defective. <laughs> Lying. I will give you a good deal. But Widow, Black Widow, and Javelin weapons can fire and then something. So I might find the Black Widow or the Widow later instead of the Black Widow and find out that it's better. And that I wasted a bunch of money, but you know. By the time we get through this game, I think we will have... There's more stuff to spend money on in this game, I believe, uh, other than just stupid cosmetic type stuff. But, um... Yeah, unless you're trying to buy every weapon that's ever been made, you should have plenty of money. Simulation suit. Oh god, here we go. Well, apparently it is because you thought of it to ask her. Yep. Those FBA couplings you got us are still holding up. <laughs> he remembers that from the last game. Nothing to report. Shepard. Shepard. Rex. I mean, whatever your name is. Ah, <laughs> uh, so we're doing the regular old tour. Uh, uh oh. 
are dead in the Central Asian wilderness, even more in Sub-Saharan Africa. We'll give you the gruesome view of what happens when the Reapers don't stop to indoctrinate. Now, in the battle space. Commander? Um. Commander, you're interrupting a live broadcast. I'm talking about the horrible human price of the war that the game kind of occasionally mentions while you just wander around ignoring bombs. Hey, Javik, what up, gangster? I heard about the events on Tachanka. You should Wish. not have let the Terrian yeah. soldier evade his responsibility. Um, I take what, it Protheans what should I have done with them? If he had been under my command, I would have marooned him in the desert, buried them in sand up to his neck, and let their wildlife feast on his eyes. We kept them busy for a while. We got so many. I would have rewarded him by shooting him in the head. Good soldiers are a precious resource. So we killed them. The stupidity of one cannot be allowed to jeopardize the lives of the others. Yeah, you're not big on uh, entrusting your men to make uh, creative decisions. The Turians are hiding something, Commander. Be careful. Well, yeah. Tuchunko was not always a wasteland. It once had jungles and forests. Then the native population started blowing everything up. The Krogan didn't need the Reapers to destroy their world. They did it on their own. Such a foolish race. I am with my own thoughts. So piss off. Alrighty. So we're gonna head for the crew deck. Uh, I mean, I don't know if there's anything worth doing off screen here. I mean, not off screen, but out of missions. See through this by equipping a sniper rifle with certain scope mods. Those really haven't helped that much. Although, I mean, you occasionally get little red outlines of where a guy is, but it doesn't consistently seem to work. Enough about me. What were you doing before we met up? Hey, guys. Oh, uh, you know, this and that. Come on, spill it. Here and there, wherever the wind Very blows. Well. I fought several explosive battles with Cerberus. I helped Shepard stop a robotic assassin on Mars. That's pretty sweet. Oh, and I discovered plans for a Prothean doomsday device that were buried for 50,000 years. I'm also the Shadow Brother. Yeah. So just this and that, huh? What about you, Garrus? I didn't do shit. I mean. Guess back before Mass Effect 2 started, I got a whole bunch of mercs killed. But Turians on a secret mission to Tachanka, huh? No one told me anything about it. I'm curious to see how this bomb on Tachanka plays out. I don't suppose ignoring it is an option. Well, I tried that before off screen and it blew it up. Later. Later. Hello, Shepard. Hello, Shepard. Goodbye, Shepard. Trying to make time with the Turian? Uh-oh. You heard about that, huh? Your soldier on Omega generated quite a few articles. <laughs> you guys have no right to privacy. Footage. There's one thing I couldn't dig up, though. Did you really take out three Blue Suns mercenaries with one bullet? No, six no, with half a bullet. Not. The third guy had a heart attack. Not fair to count him. Lame Zors. I guess I can go... Check in with her robot pal is fun to be with, but greetings, Commander. And there's nothing. And nothing. No point in going there. Well, I suppose I can check. Maybe uh Joker's in here pretending to calibrate weapons and making fun of him. It's going to take extra long time to load because it doesn't know what to do with itself when he's not in here. And that's a waste of time. Figured it probably would be. Perhaps stimulate cell regeneration with a. He's trying not to Good. talk. Ah, but he should just put because <laughs> he's trying not to talk about it in front of her. Yeah. Shepard, Eve, ready for travel to Tuchanka. Feelings about Cloaca. Nice talking with you, Warden. We'll be here if you need me. So because they actually study shroud in meantime. 
because they actually have trees, uh, they don't get new dialogue. Like the, the characters who you don't have trees with, now you get new little splashes of dialogue here and there. But with these guys, no. I'm just gonna hop down. Just gonna say Shepherd, and I'm gonna say Rex Lady, and then Something just else, Commander. Up. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. Thanks for making me get up from my seated position. It's incredibly painful for me. Stop beating yourself up. This is the crew quarters. This is our entire crew sleeps in this room. It's like a Japanese hotel. I let Shepard down. I let everyone listed on that memorial wall. Well, you can always join them. You had the courage to support Shepard. Joker did. We were working for Cerberus. He's not the most evil Ash, organization ever. Liara didn't. Were they cowards? I think not. I kind of think they were. Yeah, you're one of the bravest and most loyal men I know. Oh man, they're getting you ready to, to be give into the right passion now. right here. We have a war to win. So clear your head and focus. <laughs> okay, okay. You win. It will not be mentioned again. I'm looking forward to the ending of Mass Effect 3. A lot of people were disappointed by it because they were surprised. But I personally think the fact that 30 minutes of the 37-minute ending being dedicated to Engineer Adams was the right choice. He is the most important character after all the Mass Effect series. Hello, Commander. <laughs> he has evidence by his sparkling dialogue with Shepard. And there was also that, that sequence in the in the ending where you were visited by the ghost of uh, Exo Presley. That's pretty exciting. Geth Pyro is just like to set things on fire and stare at the fire. Just kind of looking creepy and weird. Oh yeah, Anderson. Oh man, we got a whole bunch of shit to talk about in the war room too. Commander, whatever you did on Tachanka has the Turian sending a lot of messages. What do they say? Do anything. Sorry, it's encrypted. Cracking it would take at least a week, and it would be wrong. I guess you're not cracking good. Commander. Right there. Hey, I heard uh, that female engineer who hangs out with the sh shitty fake Scotty repaired you, Edie. Was there a lot of moaning and? Lubricants or whatever. Don't worry, Edie. Once the Krogan are gone, we'll get rid of the smell. She doesn't While have a smell. All factory sensors. I do not have positive or negative associations with any specific scent. Oh, well, lucky you. Ah, Joker, your lovable racism is sure to help build an alliance that we need for the Krogan to save the human race. They're under a lot of pressure. You stole the Normandy, got blown up by the Collectors, and sent us on a suicide mission at the Galactic Core. And I haven't mutinied once. Not once. Well, I guess uh, you owe me one then. A mutiny, that is. I am impressed by your continued existence, Shepard. The probability of surviving as long as you have is low. I will kill you myself. Hello, Shepard. Commander. Yeah, everybody gets one little thing to say to you after every mission. Which, you know, I mean, the, the series evolves, and they, they, they do things, and they change things, and I think they realized after a while that um, the same dialogue tree over and over was more irritating than anything they could do. Like, they didn't want to have to write a million new things for every character to say to Shepard um, after you complete every mission, but having... Garrus just a million times tell you that can it wait a bit I'm calibrating weapons wasn't working either so now it's like the little no dialogue tree just some statements from the character is is their best middle of the ground solution let's go talk to uh, Buddy Hackett here see what he's got to tell us Shepard. So I'm oh you're not Buddy Hackett you're Anderson that's right and we can all come up for air? double Aaron Anderson here there have been a few complications Aren't there always? Hackett filled me in on the crucible. Sounds like you've got some knots to untangle. Uh, did you have something in particular you wanted to talk about, sir? Oh, that's right, you're trying to defend the Earth and I've abandoned it. I'm just glad I could take care of one of them. Say some respect. I gather you and Kaylee Sanders were close. 
I plowed those fields a couple of times, Shepard. Kaylee and I met almost 20 years ago. We have seven children he together. Had a run -in with Saren in his early days. What do you know about she Saren? More than close. If I was any closer, I would have been in front of her, because you see, I was behind her. End of the world has a way of reminding you what you forgot to do. Maybe I forgot to pull out. Kaylee and I will do something about that. You'll see her soon. She's gone lesbian, sir. But you've got a bigger problem right now. Like a galaxy full of scared bureaucrats. Yes, and I will be using them to take over once the Reapers are gone. It's what you hired me to do. Scare once bureaucrats. To kill Reapers. I hope you haven't been sidetracked by all the politics. Nothing I can't handle. What about you? What's happening on Earth? Oh, we're all being killed. You the details. But let's just say a lot of cities around the world have stopped checking in. That bad. You I'll spare you the details because that would suggest more careful writing than just generic things are bad dialogue. That changes by the hour. I caught a shuttle evac out of Vancouver. And now we're running from Foxhole to Foxhole just trying to stay alive. What about the Reapers? They're harvesting everything that moves. <laughs> what do you think They're the Reapers are doing? You think he's running he's away from like tigers? You think you can hang on? Hell, we're still just trying to talk to each other. Right now, all we can do is organize the resistance at a local level. No lack of volunteers, at least. Everybody knows what's at stake. Well, anyway. Uh, good luck. Talk to you later. I don't know how we'll win this yet, but we will. Even if it kills me. It will, Shepard. Well, you've already died once, and that didn't slow you down. But let's not tempt fate. They are planning Mass Effect 4, after all. <laughs> you too, sir. We'll talk again soon. Anderson out. Hmm, that better. The Earth is in desperate turmoil. It could go down at any moment. The human race would be practically doomed without our home world. Better go check with Garrus about those weapons, whether they're being calibrated. Yeah, I want to ask a duty act man here what's going on with this bomb. Check though. So these have gone. Excuse me. Got the Alliance's third fleet somewhere along the way. I'm grateful for all you've done, Commander. The situation with the Krogan is already complicated enough. Is it? Not as complicated as waking up one day and being told you're the new Primarch. <laughs> Don't suck up. Yes, thank you. I'm beginning to understand why leaders so often seem lonely. So lonely! These scenarios aren't just theories. At which you'll be dealing with five minutes from now. Mm -hmm. That's why it helps to have allies. Yes, you're right, of course. Is there something I can help you with? What the fuck is going on with that bomb? That's all. Of course, Commander. See, I figured there'd be a lot of new dialogue because I'd have to talk to him about the bomb. JC, it's a bomb. What was that all about with the Primarch? Turian's up to something? You know it, man. Headbutt. Don't worry about it. Uh-huh. All right. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Uh, yeah. Something wrong? Morden. He got his tissue sample from me, all right. Cut off all my quads. Let's just say scalpels were never meant to cut where he cut. They cut straight through my heart, Shepard. I still have fond memories of, uh, what's her name, the female Solarian, just <laughs> totally not wanting any of us to ever work together on anything. Even you ladies are out of stuff to say, I've been wandering back and forth too much. So somewhere along the way, uh, a mission to help evacuate civilians came up, um, and I kind of missed them explaining what it was about. Priority to Chanka. General... Okay, so we have our next major plot mission. Then we got the Chuchanka bomb, the Rachni, Cerberus attack, and Cerberus abductions. Take control of an old military installation to Chanka for unknown reasons. And attacking civilians on Benig, land on Benig, and provide protection while civilians are evacuated. So I think I need to do the bomb, and then the abductions, and then Cerberus attack, and then the Rachni.
Barla Vaughn wants us to find, uh... Oh! The Krogan DMZ? So we got something we can do for Barla Vaughn. Well, that's gotta be our priority, right? So let's, uh, pull out and help Barla Vaughn. Our true friend of the digital age. So there's Reapers here, but there's only they're only scouts. So we should be able to get over here and scan for whatever. Signal confirmed. See over here in the okay, in this system there is there is stuff to look for. Yeah, I figured it would be you. Okay, well, let me in there. So, Shadow Broker's Super Army is over here. Yeah, his wet squad. So, Ruby Malone is in there. Now she's going to help us fight the Reapers. There's apparently one more thing over here, and then we've cleared the Krogan DMZ. a white giant I guess is what that would be called trying to find things that would likely have flying right through the center of the sun isn't doing any good There's got to be something else to find around here, right? Light jump successful. I found something. Okay, well, I'll have to check it out later, you understand. Evasion successful. Okay, this is not going to work from there. This is probably not going to work either. A better chance than it did before. Oh, and it's just fuel. Well, I guess it saved me a few credits. Faster than light jump successful. And this is kind of making me want to go check other systems out and just leave the starting point. I don't think time is considered to pass, really, unless you start, uh. Unless you start messing with, uh. plot missions in, like, an incorrect sequence. Apian Crest. Arcturus Dream. We definitely have stuff to look for there. Although we have to go out there to do missions later. All right. Well, let's let's not get sidetracked. Let's come back and deal with them after we've dealt with the bomb. THE BOMB! We want to do, uh, as sort of sick and evil as it sounds, we, the last thing we want to do, I know this sounds horrible, the last thing we want to do is cure the genophage, because I think that kind of, you time out on these other missions once the genophage is cured. They're kind of set up with the idea that you're doing the genophage cure, but the genophage hasn't been cured as you do these other missions. Maybe you can do them out of sequence, but... That's the next big progression in the plot mission, so we want to do all the side stuff first. Alright, well this is a Turian mess, so let's get the Turians to help us clean it up. And we'll give Liara a whirl. This is going to be like total old school Mass Effect 1 party we got going now. Please don't make me switch to the disc. 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 We wouldn't actually know yet whether or not we have to switch the discs, folks. Don't get too excited. So I'm going with uh, smoke, because we're fighting Cerberus, the anti-smoke thing, and thermal clip. Please don't make me switch the disc. Now I suppose I could get rid of this and see now if this pistol 
will work. Power recharge speed minus 20. Okay. I, yeah. That's, no, that's still bad, isn't it? Okay, well. Plus 26. I mean, it's not a huge difference either way. Especially if you don't use your powers that much. There's no particular reason to be using this weight one. No, that's right. It's because we don't really have anything that's that much better. You can switch over to the Tempest too, because why not? I don't think she uses that anyway. She uses her pistol for the most part, doesn't she? We well, can get the super cool sticky pistol that I don't get to use. I don't know if... The, does the damage boost... I guess even though it's talking about, like more trauma on impact and stuff. It doesn't make sense with the way the scorpion works because it's it fires an actual explosive that's covered in a sticky substance. So the impact trauma that this thing is supposed to increase, the barrel, you know, the high caliber barrel doesn't do anything there. The damage comes from the explosion. But it's, you know, the description doesn't really impact how it actually works. The uh, armor piercing mod really doesn't make sense. So, so let's give her Let's go for uh Accuracy with that one. And, um, you know, I spent all this money to get the best sniper rifle ever. We might as well let you use it too, Garrus. And, uh... We will... You don't have to worry about ammo capacity, so we'll just... And I don't know if you even do anything with seeing through smoke, but just in case that affects your AI somehow, we'll give you that. And uh, this one... No, no, no. Black Widow 4. And the Avenger. You know what? I was having a lot of fun with the particle rifle. Let's let you play with that, too. Uh, weapon stability... Damage increase would be good, although it doesn't do that much damage anyway. There we go. Now, let's power up your overload. Chain or damage. We're going to go with chain. And then Liara. Oh, haven't used you in a minute. Um, I guess we'll max out the singularity. Lift damage or recharge speed. We'll go with damage. And then expand. Expand the singularity field by 35% for 10 seconds or detonate. Detonate singularity when the field dies to inflict 354 damage across 5 meters. I don't really understand this. Duration or radius. It lasts for 7 seconds. Expand the singularity field by 35% for 10 seconds. It only lasts 7.2 seconds. And let's go with detonate. And we can get you some warp ammo. Rather than squad bonus, we're going to go with damage. And then you're out of stuff. Please don't make me switch discs. Please don't make me switch discs. It doesn't look like we have to switch discs. Sweet. It is just about time to end the video, but we don't have to switch discs. That's the important thing. That's what matters in all this, right? Right? Normandy Shuttle. This is Lieutenant Victus with the 9th Platoon. Do you copy? Hey, we hear you, 9th Platoon. We're approaching the bomb site, Commander. Getting bounced around. Not sure why you guys went back to your ship and back. You could have stayed here with us and helped. Tune down. Copy that. Talk to me about this Cerberus bomb. It's not Cerberus, Commander. It's Turian. 
Yeah, we kind of knew that. I mean, like, we built it, bird guys. Makes a certain kind of sense. Put the Krogan down hard if they tried anything. Ah, smart. But evil. You won't earn trust with tactics like that. But right now, we focus on disarming that bomb. Yes, but Cerberus found it. Detonation means all out war between my people and the Krogan. Right. Why did Cerberus want Where that? Those buildings ahead. Cerberus brought equipment to dig it up. The ninth platoon will cover your flight, Commander. With all this activity, the Krogan have to know something's up. Then we can't fail, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant. Yeah, it doesn't... Cerberus' motives in this don't make a lot of sense. They really do seem to be, like, just... fighting for evil wherever there's trouble over land and sea and air. Cerberus is there. But uh, another thing that's here is the end of the video. So... Well, this doesn't feel like a dick move, but we're going to have to end. But at least you know in the next video we're going to jump straight into combat. Uh, so I hope that's enough to bring you back. I'm the Mysterious JG. I want to thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you next time for more Mass Effect 3. Bye-bye.